Hi everyone, this is William from the Headphone Experience and I'm here tonight with my first impressions of the LSA HP1 and um, if you don't already know and I didn't until a few hours ago anyway LSA stands for Living Sound Audio and they are owned by Underwood Hi-Fi Incorporated out of Hawaii um, so they are a um, USA um, company. Uh, this headphone currently sells for $13.99. It is a wired, full-size, over-the-ear, open-back design. And if you haven't already figured out that this looks like a Kennerton headphone, you probably haven't seen a Kennerton headphone. Um, as soon as I posted pictures of these, that was the first question. Was this a ripoff of Kennerton? Did they copy Kennerton? But that's not the case at all. Um, what I have found out, and I have confirmed this, that uh, this headphone was made by Kennerton for LSA. This headphone isn't exactly like any of the Kennerton headphones. It's um, the, actually the wooden cups are, are a lot like those used on the Thek. And, um, but they do have a different grill. But the drivers are closer to what's used in the Odin. Um, LSA and their, um, on their website says that it was the driver from the Odin 4 and I'm not sure exactly what the Odin 4 is. Um, I don't know if that's referring to the Odin Mark 3 or if that's referring referring to the Odin Tritty, so i um, not exactly sure, but anyway, it's based on the Odin driver. Um, the, the LSA does not list much for the specifications on this, so I went back to Kennerton's website and looked in the uh, Odin uh, 2019 version has an impedance of 40 ohms and the Tritty has an impedance of 42 ohms and um, the sensitivity is listed at 104 decibels at 1 milliwatt so these are actually pretty easy to drive especially uh, for a planar magnetic design and by the way this does use an 80 millimeter planar magnetic design and like I said it's based on the Odin driver. Um, LSA uh, doesn't give a weight but they say that um, because of using an aluminum backing plate that these are about 90 grams lighter than the Odin um, and I'm not sure if they're referring to referring to the Odin 2019 uh, I believe the Odin 2019 weighs in at 620 grams which minus 90 grams would put me at 530 but I actually weighed these on my scale at 498 grams so they're actually pretty light for a headphone of this size you know for a full size headphone as a comparison I think that the uh, Hi-Fi Man Aria which is actually exceptionally light for how big it is I think goes in at 420 grams so these are just a little bit heavier uh, this headphone uses a detachable cable and uh, the cable that comes with it is two meters long. It has a nice cloth covering. It uses four pin mini XLR connections at the headphone end. And it comes with a standard one quarter inch or 6.3 millimeter plug at the amp end. Um, give you a closer look at the headphones. Um, like I said, this grill is unique. Um, it's the, the design of the ear cup and the grill is similar to that of the uh, Kennerton Thek, but um, it is different though. It's noticeably different. You have the little LSA symbol at the bottom here. Uh, the ear cups are carved out of a solid chunk of wood. This is not a veneer. And uh, the grills are aluminum. The head strap is a steel spring type thing. Uh, the ear pads and the headband are real lambskin leather. The ear pads are exactly the same as those on uh, the newer Kennerton headphones. And they are tapered, they are thinner at the front and thicker at the back. Very soft and very comfortable. Uh, the head strap is self-adjusting, so um, 
basically you just put it on it adjusts itself and these headphones are very comfortable um, they they feel light there's not excessive clamping force at all but yet it's enough they stay on your head they don't move around and they have plenty of room around your ears in fact you can move them around a little bit there's enough room in there and like I said a very comfortable headphone in my opinion uh, as far as doing my review of this um, this is my first impressions I've had these about a week now and um, but this is my busiest time of the year uh, with my lawn care business so I've maybe got about four or five hours in on these and that's been the last couple days excuse me a second We've uh, had exceptionally cold weather the last couple days for mid-April and actually have the wood heat still going so um, it's pretty dry in here so please excuse me if I have to take a couple drinks during this video my throat gets dried out pretty bad anyway um, as far as um, reviewing these I've run these with a couple of different amps and um, I have I've used the Audio GD Master 9, which is my primary amp, and then um, I still have the Head Amp GSX Mini, and I ran off of the balanced output of both of those. I realize this is a single-ended cable, but I do have uh, balanced cables that with a four-pin Mini XLR connection, so I did use that to. Um, you know get the absolute best out of the amp I don't really think a balanced cable makes it much difference as far as the headphones concerned but I think um, most balanced amps do sound better from their balanced output so I use the balance output of both of those amps and I did uh, try this for a short time with the uh, Felix Audio Echo tube amp and it seemed to sound really good with that too it, in fact I um, gave it just a little bit a um, little bit of warmth and a little bit of bass emphasis. Um, besides from that though, it sounded really good and and um, like I said, these are easy to drive and the little Felix Audio Echo has no trouble pushing these. Uh, as far as music, I used um, my normal combination, some rock, um, some pop, some electronic, a little bit of uh, um, some acoustical music through these. So. Like I said, I've only got about four or five hours, and I'll probably, um, or I'll definitely put some more time in these over the next couple of weeks and try to get a full review out of these in about two weeks. So, anyway, uh, as far as comparison headphones, I use the obvious. Um, I've got the Kennerton Odin 2019 here right now, and I've got the Kennerton Wooden or Woden, maybe. I'm not sure, still don't know how, for sure how it's pronounced and I use those two headphones for comparison and um, this headphone is pretty close to both of those so I'll talk about that a little bit in a few minutes um, <coughs> excuse me as far as the sound uh, tone balance I'll start with and these sound absolutely dead neutral to me um, just very well balanced I don't hear any peaks any valleys I don't hear any emphasis anywhere um, just pretty much absolutely neutral so if you're looking for a neutral headphone you know that's um, gonna play the music exactly the way it was recorded that's what this headphone is gonna do um, as far as frequency extension uh, both ends are very good uh, they go low and they go high um, the bass is very well balanced with the rest of the sound um, not emphasize those these do not have an emphasized bass if you're a bass head these you know might not be the headphone you're looking for if you want an emphasized bass um, you know there's probably better choices uh, this is a neutral headphone but the ba the bass is um, it's well balanced and it's uh, very tight and well controlled in my opinion. Uh, the mids also very well balanced. Um, female vocals seem to set forward just a little bit on these. They kind of jump out at you a little bit. Um, the mids are exceptionally clean. Uh, the treble is crisp and it's clean and it never sounds harsh and 
like I said earlier, it's well extended. I'm not hearing any roll off at all in the treble. Uh, the imaging is superb. The uh, separation of instruments and voices is as good as any headphone out there. Uh, the sound stage is very open sounding. These um, they have a lot of you know opening on the grill, and this is just a very open sounding headphone with a very large sound stage. It's got very good width, it's got good height, and it's got good depth. Um, there is nothing that isn't large about the sound stage on these headphones. Um, getting to the last thing, and this is um, probably the best thing about these headphones. The clarity, detail, resolution on these is absolutely outstanding. It is second to none. Um, up until now, the up until recently, the most detailed, cleanest sounding headphone I'd ever heard would have been the Kennerton Roar. Okay, well, just a couple weeks ago, I got the Kennerton Wooden or Woden in. And it is right up there with the Thror. And this headphone is probably 95% of the way there um, compared to the Woden and the Thror. It is right there. Um, actually, sound wise, I um, mentioned earlier that I um, compared these to the Odin 2019 and the Woden. And I would say the sound of these is actually somewhere in the middle of the two. Uh, the Odin is a little bit warmer and a little bit bassier. Um, the Wooden is very, very clean, very fast, um, and very precise and almost analytical. I would say this is kind of in the middle between the two. Um, like I said, uh, as far as detail, the oh, this is up there, okay, um, like I said, this is very, very close to the Woden and the Thror, and it is, uh, some of the other headphones that I've heard with exceptional detail would be the um, Urzatish Phobos. And um, this is right up there with that, and the Hi-Fi Manorea. And um, this is, I would have no problem competing against Aria in any way. And um, I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second too. Um, anyway, I did want to mention, okay, this comes stock with what Kennerton calls the ECL01 ear pads, which is what most of their headphones do come with. Uh, the Thror comes with the ECL02s also. And you can buy the ECL02s uh, for, I think, about $71 from Kennerton. Okay, um, I have tried the ECL02 ear pads on the Thror, on the Odin, on the Wooden, and um, they definitely make a difference in the bass. They give all of those headphones a pretty good um, increase in bass without um, harming the bass at all. They don't make the, the bass sound boomy or loose or muddy or anything like that. Basically, um, in each headphone it's a little bit different. The Thror, I would say they add about probably four to five decibels of boost to both the mid and sub bass. The Odin, it's not as much, maybe about three decibels. Uh, the Woden, once again, probably, I would say three or four decibels of bass boost. And this headphone is actually uh, probably up there like the Thror, probably about four to five decibels. And like I said earlier, this headphone is very neutral. It is not a bass emphasis headphone. But with the simple switch of the ear pads, um, it does give a bit of bass emphasis and does, you know, it's still not a bass head headphone, but it does, you know, give it a, a deeper, more solid sound, both in the sub bass and the bass. So if you buy this headphone and you find it a little bit short on the bass for your taste, it's a matter of a $71 pair of ear pads and they're very easy to change. Uh, the first time I changed Kennerton pads, 
Took me about 10 minutes. Um, now I've done it so many times I can change these out in about three minutes. It's very easy. So anyway, um, so you do have that option. If you buy this headphone, you can find it comes up a little bit short for your taste. Bass wise, all you gotta do is change your pads and now you've, um, it's like emphasizing the bass about probably four or five decibels. It's a, it's a substantial difference and noticeable. So anyway, um, I'm gonna wrap this up. It's getting pretty long, but I did wanna say that um, I am really enjoying this headphone, okay? And I did want to point out something. Okay, this headphone is selling for $13.99. And this headphone compares very closely with the Kenerton Odin, which is about, I think, $21.70. And the uh, Wooden, which is about, I think, $24.80 or something like that. And I'll tell you what, in my opinion, this is a $22 to $2,500 headphone selling for $13.99. And my understanding is the way they're selling it this cheap is LSA apparently just is an internet sales company. They don't have much overhead. And from what I've heard, they are selling these with a very low profit margin. They are selling these for just a small amount more than what it's costing them to have these built by Kenerton. So, I mean, in my opinion, this is an outstanding deal. You're basically getting a $2,200 headphone, and it says that right on their website. And they are not lying. I mean, this is true. You are getting a $2,200 headphone for $1,399. And I'll tell you what, um, you know, I did a video back in January, the best... Um, headphones of 2019 the most bang for a buck and this is probably going to knock the hi-fi manaria off of my list um, you know of recommended headphones this headphone sounds as good or better than the area um, and the build quality is much much better in my opinion and it's a very good looking headphone too and it's just slightly heavier not quite as comfortable as the area which is probably one of the most comfortable headphones ever, but this headphone sounds every bit as good, maybe better. I don't have the area here right now to compare it directly, but um, you know, I think the sound is as good or better. The sound stage is as large as the area with better depth than the area. And like I said, the build quality, the wooden cups and all that, and aluminum grills is just so nice compared to all the plastic on the area. And it's, what, $200 cheaper than the Aria? So, um, yeah, I'm going to be back in a couple of weeks with my full review of this. But just from my first impressions, this is an outstanding deal. And this is the real thing. I mean, this isn't a cheap copy of a Kenerton headphone. This is made by Kenerton. This is a real Kenerton planar magnetic driver headphone. And it just happens to be an exceptional deal. So... I'll be back in a couple weeks and give you some more details, some more input, some more comparisons and dig in a little bit deeper. But in the meantime, you know, I know people are asking about these and um, yeah, this is the real thing. It's a real deal. So uh, I'll see you in a couple weeks with my full review. Once again, this is William from the Headphone Experience. If this video has helped you, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you are all welcome to join us over at the Headphone Experience on Facebook. We are now up to over 7,600 members. Thank you.